was the dinner? Oh, it was great, Dad. Thanks. Let me take your plate. Oh, thanks. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So, around what time did you last see your son? Uh, around 9 p.m. yesterday. Mm -hmm, 9 p.m. Where were you? Uh, we were in the lounge room in the evening after dinner. Did you see the murder at all? No. No sign of him at all. No. Did your son have any recent conflicts? Uh, yeah, last week at school he was in an argument with a couple of people, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure what for. Alright. Do you know who they were? Promise me you'll bring this guy to justice. I'll do my best. Hello? Uh, yes, is this uh, investigator Jai Sekira? Yeah. Um, just come right now to 5 Hampton Park. This, yeah. Yeah, the street is Rose Court. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's that it's that one with the crime. Yep. Yeah. All right. See you soon. Forensics. We're out on time, sir. All right. So where's the room at? It's upstairs. Uh, this is where the victim was killed. So, when was the time of death? Um, it's said to be around three something. Okay. Alright. I see. I think I can get a few traces. Yeah. Just, just feel free looking around anywhere. You can use this whole house to find fingerprints or bits of hair, whatever it may be. What was the murder weapon? We're not sure, we haven't located anything. Right. Alright, so we found a head. This is going to be really vital to our investigation, as it can help us determine what this individual's age is, the gender of the indi individual, the race, and what type of env environment his house is like. So we're going to go run this for forensic anal analysis. Fingerprints play a major role in crime scenes. Searching through the house where our victim was murdered, forensic scientists found latent fingerprints, in other words, invisible prints on the door handle leading into the room in which our victim was murdered. The handle being white, we used a dark powder and dusted the handle to reveal the print. 
Then we lifted the print with sticky tape and placed it on a white piece of paper. The prints were taken into the labs for analysation. It will take about 2-3 to three weeks for the fingerprints to be fully processed and analysed. Thanks for coming down to take you. No problem. You too. No problem man. See you tomorrow. Think we'll ever find that... Is that a weapon? We need that weapon. We need to find the murder weapon. It's, it pretty much holds the answer. Whoa, Scruffy, what have you found? Scruffy? Oh. Scruffy! Think it, I think your dog's onto something. Oh, yeah. is, is that blood? That's blood. That's <gasps> definitely blood of our victim. Oh. oh. There it is, there it is. The knife. As you can see, dogs play a major part in crime scenes. They help find traces like this, help find this knife. That was definitely part of the murder. Dogs are always used to track track down pathways. In this case, track down this weapon. Now, luckily, I've got gloves on. Uh, it's got definitely fingerprints. Um, would you like to get the bag out? Yeah, I've got the bag right here. It's got blood, so I'll give up. This could be. This could solve our mystery. All right, we need to take this to forensic quickly. All right, we gotta go. Thanks, right, detective. Yeah, we'll meet you later. Right, right, right. Thanks to the statement made by our witness, the hair found on the bed, the fingerprints found on the door handle, and the knife which was found by our witness's dog Scruffy, we were able to sketch a picture of what our suspect murderer looks like. If found or suspect anything, please call 1300 Crime Stoppers. <laughs>